Hey, welcome everybody to this week's Word of Hope. I'm with Pastor Craig today, and we're really going to look forward to seeing you soon face to face. Many of you perhaps have heard that the words do not fear appear in the Bible in one form or another 366 times. Once for every day of the year, plus leap year. For example, David writes in Psalm 27, verse 1, The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? The prophet Isaiah declares these words from the Lord, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And Jesus says in John 14, verse 27, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. You know, honestly, it's hard to be a bold follower, disciple, and servant leader of Christ if we're consumed by fear. Fear and boldness just don't go together. In fact, fear crowds out a lot of good things in our life. Can we be happy, confident, clear thinking, and afraid at the same time? No. Fear is the big, brash bully in the high school hallway that keeps us from being productive. But for all the noise fear makes and all the room it wastes in our hearts, fear does little good. Fear never wrote a symphony or poem. It never negotiated a peace treaty. Fear never cured a disease. It never pulled a family out of poverty. Fear never saved a marriage or a business. Courage did that. Faith did that. People who refuse to cower or consult with timidity did that. But fear itself, fear herds us into a prison and slams the door. Because God knows we all struggle with fear from time to time, he repeatedly tells us, don't be afraid. Why? Well, just from the Bible verses that we heard earlier. The Lord is my light and my salvation, the stronghold of my life. Our God who promises to strengthen, help, and uphold us with his righteous right hand. And because Jesus said, I am giving and leaving my peace with you. We can be confident and secure in Christ, no matter what circumstances confront us. Well, we've got a number of announcements to share today, Craig. And most of them are over-the-top great news. You want to get us started? Sure, you bet. So, first of all, we're going to have Drive-By Lord's Supper in both parking lots this Sunday, May 31st, from 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. After you're done receiving communion, if you choose, you can also pick up a dozen water bottles with special labels to refresh people in your neighborhoods and community, as well as these yard signs that you can feel free to put in your front yard. Yeah, so we're going to be refreshed. And then we're going to refresh our community with the forgiveness and the love of Christ that we received. Along with that, there's also an initiative for our congregation to put together 50 care packages to our near mission partner, Trinity First Lutheran School in Minneapolis. Now, these care packages are to support the families of this school that are really struggling with finances. So to create a family care package, think of something fun, a child of any age between three years old through eighth grade and their family might do. Maybe it's a movie night, story time, crafts, baking a cake or cookies, gardening. You get the idea. Put these together in a small package that would enable that family then to have some fun together. Put these materials in a box suitable for mailing. Attach a sheet of paper on the outside of the box listing what the care packages include. And please try to complete this before June 8th. And if you have questions, please contact Pete Mumford directly. And his number is 763-229-9792. And let me repeat that. 763-229-9792. Also, for graduation recognition, which is uh, in that time of the year, Pete Hiller sent out a mailing to all graduating seniors last week with information about the graduation recognition on June 7th. The letter also included a response form that is due by May 29th. If you did not receive the mailing and you have a graduate in your home, please contact Pete Hiller in the church office. And finally, some great news. Hey, tentatively June 14th, because Governor Walls allowed the congregations to meet up to 250 in worship on Sunday, June 14th is when we're going to get back together as a church for public worship. So we'll have services at 8, 
9, and 10, 15. Again, 8, 9, and 10, 15. We added that earlier 8 o'clock service so that there's hopefully going to be less people at 9 o'clock. So that we should easily uh, be uh, within the boundaries. And we look forward to seeing you. You're going to get a, a congregation-wide letter about this on the first week of June. But mark your calendars. We can't wait to worship the Lord together, together again soon. God's richest blessings on your week. Thanks again, Pastor Craig. You too. God bless everybody. Mm -hmm.